I've been hearing many stories and tall tales about this very mythical creature that exists out here on Silveridge Peaks. I'm talking about the Great One Black Bear. Though it's not a black bear, it is however a really cool light brown gobbler and he's a max weight one as well. Not only that, there happens to be two of them side by side right there and there's another max weight turkey right there at 430 yards. Now. We do have the 22 AR on us. This potentially could be our farthest shot of all time with the 22 AR, maybe even the 22 in general. Now, before we go and take a shot, I don't want to spook that bear, but I think what we could do is go for a shot on this gobbler right out in the front. But what we have to do, oh, there's a bear. Holy bear, bear, bear. There's bear everywhere now. Oh my God. And look at the turkeys. Look at all the turkeys. <laughs> oh my god, they're everywhere. One, two, three, four, five, six gobblers out here. And then there's two, three black bear out here. They're all level six, it looks like. Anyways, we're going to go for a shot on this light brown gobbler out here at about 430 yards. Now, I believe we have to hold between the bottom dot and the bar at the very bottom to go for a 430 yard shot. Whoa, we shot high. Oh my God, barely, just barely high. Wow, that was so close. Oh, I'm actually hoping that they're gonna calm down because now I know exactly where to aim. I'm just so surprised that they all spooked at over 430 yards. One shot with a 22. It's okay though. We got quite a few still around here. And that is a cow Rocky Mountain Elk. But look at all the turkeys. It's been a little while, but it looks like our turkeys are finally wandering back into position over here at about 430 yards again. There's a max weight gobbler right there. And what I want to do is wait for that other max weight light brown to come in. If he does come in, if he doesn't, then we're probably going to go for this max weight gobbler right out there. And it's still going to be a 430 yard shot. So I want to be a little bit more patient here to wait for potentially the other light brown gobbler. But even though it's not even a rare, so I guess it doesn't really matter that much. Um, Yeah, in that case, we're going to go for a shot on this guy here. All right, last time we shot high. So. We hold it right Uh, I don't know what just happened. How did we mess up that shot so bad? Oh my god, we got him. He's hit. We hit him. That's a 460 yard shot right there. That's going to be our all time farthest shot with a 22. I'm telling you, that's going to break 460. All right, guys, I found our max weight gobbler down right over here. Let's have a look at him and see just how far that shot actually was. And there we go. Oh my God, almost 460, 453 yards. And it's a 4.2 gold. But I believe that's our all time farthest shot with a 22. AR or maybe even 22 in general. All right, we got eyes on our first black bear out here and this is going to be a little bit of a different scenario versus say like the white tail hunt. We're going to be absolutely taking down every single black bear that we can to try and eliminate all the zones and just keep coming back to them and just try and get as many black bears as we can until we potentially get what we're looking for. All right, two awesome shots there. Both those bears shouldn't be going very far. Unless I ranged them wrong. How far was that? Four, no, definitely not going far at all. That one piled up right there and the other one is gonna pile up right next to him as well. 0% and it's down. All right, let's get over there and go pick them up and continue on along the way. This is gonna be fun because we don't have to worry about taking out zones. It's literally like every single black bear we see, we're taking them down. 
Holy black bear. Look at them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven black bear over there, including this massive level seven right there at 370 yards. Now, it's a very odd distance. So I think we're going to try and get over to closer to 400. I know it sounds funny, but it actually makes more sense because if we try and get closer to him, then we're just going to be about 350 and that's not really going to help us out much. I would much rather take a 400 yard shot than a 350. Not in real life, of course, but. All right, 380 will definitely do. So let's get zeroed in for 300. And uh, of course, reload this thing first. All right, here we go. So the big seven is right there. We're going to take him. It doesn't really matter that much, I suppose, does it? I definitely want to take the males down for sure first. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Big seven's turning. Big seven's turning. Oh, that shot was a miss. Second shot was money. That was smoked him. And I thought I saw another. Oh, okay. So we didn't hit the four very good, but we absolutely smoked that seven. Oh, got him. Well, there's the big four right there. I just saw him. Are they all coming back in? Yeah, they are. Ooh, first shot went high. Holy, can I hit something? I mean, I know we're shooting really far out there, but still, man. Why was that shot high? That should have been perfect. All right, now we're on. Now we are on. <laughs> now we're stacking them up. I honestly don't know if I'm going to show you guys every single bear that we pick up. I'm for surely going to show you these two because these are the first two. And then I'm going to show you the big level seven and so on. But like, I don't think I'm going to show you all the female or small male. I'm only going to show you the big males from now on after this point right here but i want to see those shots that we did take 350 yards and yeah those were some pretty perfect shots there that was the five medium and then here's the sow that was right with it as well and yeah another perfect shot 330 yards right behind the front shoulder guys on another meal out there at about 250 this time so we shouldn't have to hold quite as high smoked him He's not going far after that. All right, so I'm pretty sure this might be our big level seven piled up right here. Let's have a look. It looks pretty nice. Yeah, it's not him, but we pulled off a brain and skull shot there at 360. All right, so now we are in fact gonna have to try and figure out where this bear ran off to. Where did it go? Got a couple of them piled up over here. As a matter of fact, this very well could be the one that we're looking for. There's three of them piled up right here. It's not the one that we're looking for, but nice lung shot at 350. But then there's two more over here. I mean, I would imagine one of these would have to be it, right? Because it definitely ran this direction. There we have it. There it is. 390 yard left lung shot there. And he's going to score 20.6 gold. And he's a dark black bear. So that's pretty cool. And a super awesome shot. What if we could take down half of this entire herd of pronghorn out here? Well, we're about to try and see how good we can do uh definitely took down quite a few of them but we still are gonna get a few more as well i'm empty we only actually we never missed once so yeah we did really good we might be able to take down this entire herd by the time they get far enough out there we're literally a hundred percent as of right now just missed once just barely missed once and that was it and now we're empty so even if you hit them one time they're all gonna go down eventually 
So those shots there are all going to take down those pronghorn. And in a sense, we're going to take out this entire herd of pronghorn here. Ooh, that's a cool looking turkey there. Light gray, it looks like. Or, yeah, light gray. One more. And we got it. We just took out that entire herd of pronghorn. Right here alone, I see four of them piled up right here. Well, right here from the start, I can see four of them piled up right here. So, yeah, we did pretty good. There's two. I believe they were all female. There might have been a couple of small male in there, but there was a lot of them. So that makes four. All perfect double lung shots. And then we started taking trotting shots and running shots. And these are the ones that we're going to go after right now. And we got a couple more down over here. 350 yards. Then we got two more here. And we got a couple. Oh, there's a male. One bullet left. And I choked. Oh. Oh, man. I messed up the shot. That's all right. We got a couple more down over here. Rule number one, always reload and make sure that your rifle is loaded before you go hunting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pronghorn we took down out of that herd. Ten pronghorn. I believe we just kicked up our last black bear out here. It's a five medium, but it's a decent sized one. So we're going to try and make a really good shot. Oh, got a solid pronghorn out there as well. Where'd our bear go? I'm pretty sure that's him right there. He's cutting right. We shot right through that tree. Did we connect? Yes, we did. He's going down. Let me take one more shot just to slow him down a little bit faster. And let's go over and pick up our final black bear. Today we took down a ton of black bear. You guys probably didn't see them all, but we took down so many of them. I tried to only show you the big ones, and unfortunately, there wasn't really a lot of big ones. There was mostly uh, fives, mostly five mediums and fours for some reason, but we got a lot of them. All right, here we go. Let's pick them up. 18.5, not far off from being a gold. First shot did catch a nice right lung shot through the tree at 250, and it's going to be a black black bear. A 240 yard shot right to the right lung through that tree and almost got a spine shot on that black bear. But anyways, that's going to be it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.